what motivated you to work on immunology itself so that was where the spark of immunology started in my mind most of these indian institutes are there were distinguished speakers from all over the world but the courses are like so my academic journey in um, the at the indian institute of science really helped me in uh, understanding how science works not only in india but also in the united states what would you pass on a message to our current students um, i think the most important thing for me manage stress through one piece of advice that i would give for I am Swati Ghosh, Dean of Diksha Indranagar Campus. Today we are having a chat with Karthik, a distinguished alumnus who has passed from Diksha Indranagar in the year 2019. Today he has uh, completed his dissertation of bachelor's in Harvard and he is going to pursue his PhD in Harvard. So his journey throughout we will be taking you through this chat. So Karthik, it's such a distinguished achievement you have done. you have studied and finished your masters from iisc bangalore so what do you think about it how was your academic pursuit your research experiences how and time in iisc has made you grow both professionally and personally firstly thank you for such a generous introduction um, i'm humbled to uh, hear you say such things and um, i think that my journey in iisc was really nice and i think most of these indian institutes um, are known for not just their academic um, excellence but also the opportunities that they give their students and i was so um, uh, it was so fortunate for me to have these opportunities where i could have uh, interacted with nobel laureates who visited my campus during several different conferences and seminars there were distinguished speakers from all over the world who came to our campus and uh, gave lectures about the science that they've been doing and uh, the indian institute of science is primarily known for its scientific uh, prowess and i was in the middle of that uh, specifically in the biological sciences department but i was also involved in several other departments in on campus Uh, the courses are like no other uh, trust me because i've seen so many other universities and teachers um, teach in different institutes and uh, the coursework was really good it was very thorough and it um, challenged our ability to um, rational different hypotheses as well as uh, test different hypotheses and so my academic journey in um, the at the indian institute of science um, was really good in terms of uh, in the way that it equipped me to address scientific questions in a better manner but not only that it also gave me the opportunity of doing my bachelor's thesis and as well as my undergraduate research experience at Harvard Medical School uh, where i was fortunate to be completely funded by the Harvard Medical School laboratory and i was able to do my thesis there and that really helped me in uh, understanding how science works not only in india but also in the united states that's really awesome karthik you. so you have finished your bachelor thesis i take it as an immunology subject yes in a reputed institute worldwide in such as harvard so what motivated you to work on immunology itself so one of the most fascinating things of immunology and it was often referred to as a god question of immunology which was the generation of diversity how can the body generate antibodies against virtually all pathogens so that was where the spark of immunology started in my mind and um, that drove me to one of the um, distinguished professors at Harvard Medical School whose name was Shiv Pillai and I, he was so generous to take me into his lab and allow me to work on different innate immune uh, responses in um, in different contexts and uh, that's where the spark for immunology started for me so now in phd are you going uh, planning to continue with immunology or something else is your research interest 
So immunology was my acquired love and I had to learn it. Uh, but my inherent love was something which is more developmental. And uh, But I have to integrate some components of immunology as well. And I'm still figuring out which um, path my thesis uh, has to be in. And so at this point, um, all I can um, say is that I'm interested in understanding regulatory principles in biology, but not restricted to immunology. But I'm more than happy to look at these regulatory principles and immunology as well. That's awesome, Karthik. So you were, you are a distinguished alumnus of Diksha Indranagar. Thank so you. what would you pass on a message to our current students, aspiring scholars? How would you say they manage their time in Diksha so that they do the best in their academics? They can as well, like you know, plan for career goals like you. Um, I think the most important thing for me uh, during my time in Deeksha was the guidance that I got from all of you faculty members. And I think that usually the journey for most students or most professionals in any profession is hard and there is a lot of stress involved. So one cannot expect a life which is stress free. And I think the best that one can do is learn how to manage stress through different things. So you have a good support system of friends or family or mentors who you can confide in. But I think beyond all of that, the one piece of advice that I would give for all aspiring scholars, irrespective of which field they want to go, is to choose something which um, they're passionate about. And I, I, I think passion itself is not sufficient. I think you need to be passionate about things as well as work hard towards achieving those things. And you would also, and that is where stress management comes into picture. And I, I would say that that's something that really helped me discussing my personal and career goals with all you faculty members as well as my parents about how I didn't want to pursue engineering and I didn't want to pursue medical as well, but I wanted to pursue science and make fundamental discoveries in biology. And I think that was what helped me, which is to stick to my instinct as well as try to work towards getting it. So, Karthik, I still remember the first interaction I had with you. You told, ma'am, I want to make my career from IISC. Yeah. I still remember in the batch you studied, you were our top scorer in NEET. You were a great scorer in JE, JE Advance. You made your path through medical college to IIT and went to IISC. So, a great achievement. So, two things, children, here I would say. He is a hard worker and diligent person. So, yes, that's the passion he carries. So, Karthik, what's your aspiration here on? How do you look at your future from here on? What are you trying to do with all your knowledge now and all the studies and education you have got? How do you feel you will motivate your own self in the coming days? I think that's a very interesting question because I've been thinking about that myself because there are so many people in the world doing a PhD from all sorts of universities and I've been so fortunate to get an opportunity to do my PhD at Harvard Medical School and I just didn't want to be another PhD student graduating and I want to um, and so that's why I've, I was thinking about this and I thought that I want to contribute to science which matters and contribute to science which can at some point change the lives of people. And um, I remember attending one of these seminars at Harvard Medical School where there was a scientist who's, um, who had developed a therapy which was so specialized and personalized for a single patient. But oh. that uh, increased her life expectancy um, by four years. So she was supposed to die at the age of six because that was a genetic defect that she was born with. But because of this single therapy, she was she still lives and she's 10 and she's happy. She's going to school. And I would like to make an impact on someone's life in that manner, even if it's a single person, if I'm able to change their lives in a way that I can allow them to live and uh, make them smile. I think that's what I want to do. Superb, Karthik. Awesome. So Karthik, you spent two years in this campus. Can you share some of your fondest memories back then? And also, can you add on to the fact that how Deeksha Indranagar has shaped your career? I think that Deeksha, I believe that um, a lot of things in my life are a culmination of everything that had happened in the past. And I think the two years that I spent in Deeksha was so formative for me in many different ways because um, I not only got to explore my um, um, 
uh, academic pursuits which I was interested in. I also got to meet such lovely, you know, faculty members who I'm still in touch with even after like seven years, as well as um, friends who still continue to be a part of my life. And I think that was the biggest takeaway for me from Deeksha, which is to um, form bonds which remained in my life. And I think people will always remember you by the way uh, you made them feel. And um, that that's something that I want to take away from Deeksha, which is that um, I hope that I was able to make people feel the same way that they had made me feel as well. You were always a lovely student, lovely child. You're always welcome to Deeksha Indranagar. We as a teacher are very proud of you. Thank you. Child, this is a small token of gift. Oh, that's May you flourish thing. just like a plant and grow just like a plant. Thanks a lot for those Thank you, words. Karthik.